but just keep it in the back of your mind as we go through this new year and, and try to make that a, a point to live by. Uh, one man that certainly knows the, uh, the meaning of teamwork, no doubt about it, the true meaning of teamwork, uh, is our, our speaker this morning. Would you guys like for me to move this? We're good. Uh, as I said, we're honored to have with us, uh, as most of you know, uh, Sergeant Dakota Meyer. He is a Greene County native. He attended Greene County High School, uh, started here, I think, as a sophomore and went through the rest of his year here, played football and uh, ran some track as well. And uh, I have a little bit more I want to say about him in a minute, but I want to ask uh, Mr. Will Hodges to come up and, and say a brief word and then Mr. Griffiths uh, about Mr. Meyer here. Some of you had him in class, and some of you uh, may not even know of Mr. Meyer, but you're going to get to know him this morning. So, Will, if you'd come share a few words with us. I guess the first thing that comes to mind when Dakota came here was, we f I filled out the transfer papers for you. Now that seems like a good thing, right? <laughs> come on, y'all can laugh a little this morning. This is the fun part here. <laughs> but, uh, I don't know, many, some of you had Dakota in class. I, I had Dakota in class and, and uh, you know, Dakota, he, at the time, he's like a lot of kids where he was searching. You know, I could probably say that and Dakota would probably agree with me this morning. He was searching for something and, uh, you know, he was looking for somewhere to do well. You know, and I think about some of the good things, you know, uh, when I had him in class, he invited me and a buddy of mine out, went out to his farm rabbit hunting. <laughs> And we get out there, and I don't think that farm's ever seen a rabbit. <laughs> he said, yeah, come on out. He said, there's all kinds of rabbits out here. They must have been hiding under a rock because we didn't kill any. <laughs> then another time, I remember after track practice, uh, I think me and James and Trent and Ben, some of us had class, we had a paper due. You remember that? So after track practice, I didn't have the paper typed. It was about 20 pages. He sat down in there with me. He typed about 10 pages. I typed about 10 pages. Now, I don't know what he typed because I never read it. <laughs> but I did get an A in the class, so I don't know if they read it or Tell you the truth, the professor probably didn't read it himself. Right, James? We got an A. <laughs> You know, he got into pole vaulting. <laughs> I'm telling you, he was pole vaulting on a light pole. <laughs> he, he weighed about two, two plus. And uh, he went, he drove war over to Grayson County. He had to drive over there to get the pole. You know, he, he was gung ho. He, he got into that, he, he really excelled at that. That's something he was good at. And, uh, you know, and, and along the way, we probably had our knocks too. <laughs> I think it was his junior year. We're getting ready to go to the regional meet. He says, I can't go, coach. He says, I can't go. I said, Dakota, why nice? My dad said, I got to come home and rake hay. <laughs> I was pretty mad, wasn't I, Dakota? Uh. You know, he come back out his senior year, you know, come back out. You know, I want him back on the team. And he come back out. He had a great senior year. He made it to the state meet. He went to the region that year, and he made it to the state meet. And, uh, I guess, you know, then we get up to state meet, he performs, and some of the other kids are going to perform the next day. Well, it's kind of odd because I don't remember if it was his grandfather or who. Grandfather. grandfather was sick, and he was already up around Louisville or Lexington, so we allowed him to drive over. But the thing was, he had to leave his keys in my room once he got there. Well, he did that most of the time. <laughs> We had a team meeting before that last day of competition. Take, take, you know, he had already competed the previous day and, and did well at state. Uh, but uh, during the team meeting, he slips out and he grabs his keys. And he told me the other day, he said, man, I was just a slick. <laughs> he said, I thought I was. So uh, he gets in his vehicle and drives a block or two over to some convenience store. Him and him and took another one with him, by the way. <laughs> and I think he's getting ready to check out. He turned around, and there I stand, looking right at him. 
And I said, boy, that, the Marines, it's going to be a rude awakening for you, boy. That's what he told me. And uh, he reminded me of that the other days. But, uh, you know, I think he was always looking for an area where he can excel. And uh, you know, I just hope we can do that, put kids in places that they can excel and where they can uh, succeed. And uh, Dakota's certainly done that. Coach Griffiths. Coach Hodges will be hard to follow. Uh, in my role as assistant principal, of course, when he comes in to enroll, and he called Miss Thompson back there, and Dakota came in to enroll, and I met him up there in the office, and we had a few words, and a more few words, and everything like that. Assistant principal, you know, of course, you're responsible for discipline. But uh, I'm going to share something that was pretty unique. Uh, Dakota, when they're working on a schedule, uh, Ms. Thompson actually put him back there with Ms. Tana because Ms. Tana was going to have an overload group and uh, Mr. Coward was back there. But the thing that I remember most about Dakota, uh, Ben Tucker's parents had brought Ben in. I'd uh, never been into school before. And they put a sock on him. That man went anywhere with Dakota and wouldn't go with anybody else. But those are the type of things I think sometimes uh, as teachers, administrators, coaches, we forget about uh, are those things. You know, it's easy to point at all the bad things. Uh, you know, Dakota spent a lot of time with me, like I say, being assistant principal <laughs> discipline. Uh, it's, been, it's, been, it's been a lot of time with me. So uh, we got to know each other real, real well. Uh, but uh, that was one of the things I told Dakota. He said, you know, where do you think I could be successful? I thought he'd make an excellent teacher and coach just simply because he knew how to build relationships fast with, you know, I guess with the right people because he spent a lot of time in the office. But, uh, <laughs> you know, it's uh, like I say, with Ben Tucker, I know his parents. Uh, that was one thing that, you know, Dakota, you know, Ben had never been with anybody else but his parents. So pretty unique that, that he would hang out with Dakota and pretty much anywhere he wanted to go, you know, Dakota would go with him. So for a couple of periods a day, and that was, that was really interesting to me as, as a school administrator. Uh, but, uh, you know, he had that gift. Uh, but I'll share this with you as, as an administrator, as a teacher, you never know who you have sitting in front of you. You have a huge impact on a daily basis, and you don't realize that. A lot of times we take it for granted of who's sitting there in front of you uh, and the impact that you can make on a daily basis. And I think that we, you know, we don't look at it that way a lot of times. Uh, you know, me and Dakota, we just had a relationship. You know, I've, I've, we've gone out to eat at his farm with his grandparents and his parents and uh, just, just built that relationship with a student. Uh, like I say, like I, say I, got, I got to know him really well, and not just through athletics, but like I say, he, he spent his time in my office, so uh, we had a lot of conversations. So that's the thing about, uh, you know, being a teacher. It's about building relationships. I know Mr. Frank is, you know, that's one of the things that he's going to, I know, going to hammer home. Because like I say, you don't know who's sitting in front of you. Uh, one of the things I'll share with you in this relationship, uh, it's been ongoing. You know, uh, I know when he was training to go to the Middle East and, you know, he kept telling me he's in Hawaii. I said, why are you in Hawaii training to go to the Middle East? But everything that he was doing, their group was going to be first in. The last phone call I got from him before the, the event was he said it's not going to be good. You know, he knew. And uh, that was hard on me. That was, that was really hard on me. And the day that uh, the day that he made that phone call, I, you know, I didn't get a bow or anything. You know, it was just pretty much it's going to be pretty bad. I shared that with the football team that day, uh, and that was tough. That was tough. Uh, but he's had a huge impact on me because of that ongoing relationship. He felt like he he could trust me, and that's the thing about making that impact. You know, you got that chance. You got that chance. But uh, you know, every day you don't know who's going to walk through your doors. And I've been, I've been blessed to, to be able to be a part of his life. And I know Miss Tana, and, uh, you know, it, it's, been, it's been huge for me. I and mean, I'm glad that he's safe at home. And I know he'll tell you when he gets up here, those four guys that he pulled out, you know, looking at those families in those eyes, you know, he felt like he let them down. That's the first thing when he called me. He said, he said I let my team down. And, but I love Dakota. And like I say, we got an opportunity to make a huge impact as teachers. So remember that when you go in there tomorrow, you got a huge impact. You can make a huge impact on people. Thank you. <laughs>